Hello guys, Jeff Butler. Welcome back to the channel. And today we're going to take a quick look at my Tiger One. Uh, I did say that I'm slowly going to start uploading videos of the builds that I did a while ago that I haven't showed on YouTube. Uh, just for like documentation purposes, I guess. Um, but yeah, here is the Tiger One. Uh, not really much to say about it, about the vehicle itself, because it's literally so famous with, within the, uh, you know, not even the World War II sphere, just the military sphere in general. Like, everyone literally knows this tank. Even people that aren't interested in military, they will probably recognize this tank. Um, and it probably gets more recognition than it deserves. Um, and I'm sure people are going to debate me on that, but I don't care. It's my own, it's my own opinion. And, uh, yeah, this is my take on the Tiger 1. Um, going into this build, I knew it was going to, I knew building it was going to not be that hard, but I knew trying to make it unique from other Tiger 1s and incorporating, like, new, uh, you know, new techniques into the Tiger, I knew that was going to be difficult. Um, but I'm pretty happy with what I came up with. Um, especially, like, the front here. I think uh, I'm really happy with how the front turned out. Um, and I'm also really happy with uh, the turret. Uh, if you'll notice, the turret is actually like bricks on the side and then uh, plates on the top. Uh, usually, uh, most Tiger 1 turrets are just like um, three bricks st stacked up. Mine is just like two bricks and then two tiles or uh, two plates. Um, if you don't understand that, I'm sorry, uh, just go and look up what plates means and stuff. Um, I don't know, I don't really know what to say about this, but I will say that my camera is having a hard time, uh, picking up the Tiger, because this thing is freaking huge. Um... And I will say that the, here, let me go ahead and turn this off. All right, took the Tiger down, because uh, that turntable is kind of making it hard to show this thing off. Um, but yeah, this thing can roll actually pretty well, uh, surprisingly. Um, but to be honest, I don't really care much about rollability when I uh, design my vehicles. Uh, the turret can rotate uh, rotate 360 degrees um, but of course there's that antenna there uh, blocking it uh, you can fit three people not inside there's no interior to this but you can put three people um, like kind of here let me get this guy um, you can kind of like pretend that people are in there like this, so that guy would be the the radio operator, um, and also the commander's hatch opens up, but I'm not gonna do that because it takes more effort. And to be, to be honest, guys, when I make my videos, I want to put like no effort into them because I'm just so busy with like other things. Putting effort into videos like wouldn't really make sense for me. Um. And to go on a tangent here, I am making money off of YouTube, but it's very little. I can already give you give you a figure right now. It's about uh, 50 cents a day, and on YouTube, you can only withdraw money when you reach $100. So in 200 days, I'll be able to get $100, which is, you know, it's nice getting an extra $100, but when you consider the effort put into YouTube, like producing like two, three videos a week, like nowhere nowhere near worth it obviously um but i don't mind it's a hobby not here to to make money just here to show off my insane uh obsession i guess um so yeah turret rotates you can open up the hatches um and i'm not sure what else i want to show off on this i mean it's it's a tiger one you know Nothing really too special about it. Um, 
in here. Let me put some guys next to it so you can kind of get a feel for the size. Let me just adjust this here. So yeah, you can kind of see uh, how big it is. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have any other uh, Tiger 1s right now. I did sell my Brick Veteran Tiger 1. Um, and I don't think I have any Brick Mania Tiger 1s at my house, at my parents' house. So this is pretty much it. This is my only Tiger. And I'm really happy with it. This is, this is like my... Uh, my ideal Tiger 1. Uh, there are many like it, but this one is mine. Um, what else? I'm kind of running out of things to say here. Uh, of course, this is 135th scale. Um, perfectly, uh, it has perfect uh, dimensions, I should say, to the real Tiger 1. Um, and I even, one of my uh, other favorite details is I got this uh, this ridge on the turret here. Uh, the tiger did have a little ridge, an armored ridge, um, below the turret, but it's really hard to see. And I just wanted to capture that detail because you don't really see that with other uh, Lego Tiger ones. Oh, and of course the uh, the gun mantlet can go up and down. There it is going down. Uh, it's a little bit fragile. Um, you got to be careful when you're moving it because the connection is not strongest. Uh, but it's there and it's it's uh, strong enough to hold it in place. So um, there's that. Uh, also, like if you look at the side of the turret, it's pretty uh, complicated, and I'm really happy with uh, with how it turned out. But yeah, overall, I'm just really happy with this Tiger 1. If you are a... Uh, here, let me put some more guys next to it. There we go. Yeah, just showing off my figures. Um, yeah, if you're if you're a builder, uh, you definitely have to build a Tiger 1 at some point. Just give it an attempt. Um, and I can tell you that you will have an easy time building it. But if you're trying to make it different from some other people's Tiger 1s, it's going to be hard. It, it, that's that's the hard part. Um, but yeah. Uh, I think this is going to be, be the end of the video. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.